Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and today we are taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called Fantasy Creature Combat Tree Man. Now this one I feel is a little bit unique and I kind of have a project which this would fit into, um, which is why I end up finding this particular asset. So let's take a look at it. Now, on first glance, they look fairly decent. I mean, this is the basic default scene that you get with it and it's always good to see that kind of thing. Uh, you know I love to see a scene in uh, any asset package. But the overall quality is quite nice. If we look at them, yes, I know the textures are a little bit muddy, a little bit blurry, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. You can actually use that to your advantage, depending on what kind of game you're creating. So quantity-wise, we get these two little fellas here, and they're not too bad. They look okay. Um, I, I think overall it's what you would expect to get you know they've got their animations they've got nice visuals um overall there's not a lot to this package but you wouldn't expect it anyway because it brands itself as just a combat tree man and it's going to be an enemy in some kind of fantasy game so that's where i think it would fit in quite nicely if you've got some kind of rpg or a fantasy game where you want some kind of tree man that's an enemy or even a boss i think this will fit in quite well so if we look through the folders and see what we've got, you can see that we've got the animator, we've got all these FBX files. And if we go through, we can see that they actually have quite a lot of animations to go with them that you can use. So coming back to quantity and in terms of extras, I would class a lot of these animations as extras because I think it's more than what you would expect to get. So yeah, there is a nice amount of animations and we do only get these two. But again, it comes down to what you do with the asset. So, for example, if we take this material and we increase the normal map, we can see just how grotty and gritty he could look. So if we undo it and set the um, normal map to... In fact, let's set it to 1 and have a look. So that looks kind of cool. Play with the metallic look of him and see what he looks like in-game. And, you know, a bit of post-processing never goes... Um, away from me i love a bit of post-processing you can see just how different the two could look now this one looks like he fits in more of a horror game this one still looks like he fits in a fantasy game so there are different uses for these particular assets and i do like them i always recommend playing around with the materials and the textures to see what you can come up with when creating uh, your own version of this asset but i do love the amount of animations that we can use here and we can attach and they do look nice they are fluid animations as well so how useful is all of this well for me i actually think it's very very useful in a lot of different ways so this is one thing i kind of didn't touch upon when i was explaining what is in the package but if we have a look at this one here and let's tell let's bring him up here so we can see him in the scene view and let's turn him around 180 and let's press play this is something which i love to see now like i said there is a reason why i didn't tell you about this little extra thing upon showing you the default scene for the package it's because Sometimes in these packages you can find little hidden assets like this one. It's not huge, it's not major, but he's got his own little tree trunk club. And that is an awesome thing to see. So I guess that could be counted as extras. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but de definitely all the animations. But it's just great to see this kind of thing in an asset. Um, scenes, obviously we get these and you can see the weapon there has its own material. Now this is something I'm a little bit confused about. I get the feeling that that weapon was added in at a later date. Uh, the reason being is because usually you would find all the materials in a folder, all the FBX files in a folder, uh, all the prefabs in a folder. However, here the weapon is an additional thing, so it could have been added in. So that does mean that later on down the line you could have more things being added to this asset. Um, how useful is it? I think it's very useful in a, a various different types of games like say an rpg fantasy game uh, even a survival horror kind of game or just a straight up horror game or anything like that because you can modify these to fit your style of game how customizable are they not massively customizable but it, like i say it's always good playing around with the material and the assets that come with the package to see what you can create so how big is the package and how free is it <laughs> well 
it is free. Uh, it might not be free uh, if you ever see this, um, although it does have a banner as free there. Hopefully it will stay free uh, for all eternity. But, uh, I mean, even if this goes up to like a dollar, two dollars, it might be worth it depending on what game you're creating. File size is just 26 megabytes, and that's really, really good. Even if you're trying to create something for mobile devices, that might actually be a decent size for what you get here. So, as you guys know, I don't rate assets. I either recommend them or I don't. And yeah, I'm pretty sure you've got it now. I would recommend this. This is a good asset. It's nice. It's quality, in my opinion. Yes, I know earlier on I said the textures look a little bit muddy, a little bit blurry, but that doesn't really matter. Because a lot of the time when you're playing some of these games, you never see the textures of objects that close up. It's only during development. So I don't think that is uh, a negative of this package. I, I think you can kind of ignore that. Overall, I love this. It's a great asset. And for my personal project, what I'm using it for, it fits in really, really well. It's easy to use. It looks nice. And the motions are just so fluid. It's a really, really nice asset. So yes, I would recommend this asset. So. Have you guys got an asset on the asset store yourself? If you have, let me know because I'd love to check it out and maybe review it in one of these review videos. They may not be as um, common as they used to be, these reviews. I do them probably sporadically every once in a while uh, now um, just because there's not that much demand for them. But I do like to look at assets that people put on the store, whether it's in a video or not. Um, so, yeah. Let me know your thoughts on this asset and if you've used it. And if you have, let me know what you think. Is it good? Is it bad? You tell me. Uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you around in another one of my videos. Thank you very much for watching, guys.